Hey, Joe. Hey. I'm on government time, so I don't get to pick and choose what I do. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I have Jeff and Lauren here. Hey, Joe. Okay. Okay. Hey, Joe. Hey, How are you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm not going to complain. What a, what, what a mess we all have, huh? Exactly. Well, it's, um... This is par for the course. Everything we used to talk about, they're just, it's a conspiracy to, it's a, cons it's a conspiracy to just end this, this business and no one better, knows better than you how they, how they use, manipulate the truth to do it. Well, uh, you, you know, they, they've kept me in isolation and, and shut up for the last three years because they don't want me explaining to the politicians how the, the manipulating the Endangered Species Act in order to steal everybody's property. Yeah, well, you know, <clears throat> fortunately, what you don't even know is, is we have some recordings of Matt kind of basically saying that they don't govern the Endangered Species Act, that it doesn't, it doesn't regulate captive bred animals. So let's hope that him and, and remember when we made that call to the Department of Interior? And that woman told us yeah. that, and yeah. I've still got that recording, um, where she said that, she she says, I can't tell you exactly on cat she's but I can tell you that wolves aren't, because she ran that wolf program. So, <clears throat> Right, right. And then Ted Cruz, as you know, because I've seen you, I've seen you politic for that, for that saves act from Ted Cruz, that, that will help if he'll reintroduce that bill. But, yep. It's well, it's a crock of shit. Uh, uh, just just the fact that PETA is enforcing this law instead of the feds right. tells you something. Right. You know, but, but but they're going around getting all these federal judges to side with them. Uh, we 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 got to the, the only I, I don't know what kind of recordings you have, Jeff. Uh, but the only way we're going to beat this is to ruin them in number. I got a lot. I got a lot because you know what, <clears throat> we just didn't trust the feds. They, Joe, what you you don't know the pressure that was put on us. I mean, I, I know you sit there and you probably think that we were that we were running to the feds trying to get you in trouble, and that's not the case. We came back to we came back to discover that we were the center of a federal investigation, and they basically, like they did with Finley threatening him, they they basically put the screws on us. That if we didn't cooperate, then we were, we were hostile witnesses, which must mean that we're complicit in, in everything. And they told us that they were actually looking at you five years prior to ever since we came into the picture. Do you know, hey, Amanda Green? I mean, they've been they've been looking at me ever since I started fighting the bullshit laws. And, and, you know, it's the told you. reason Dan Ash even put generic tigers on the endangered species list is to pull this off. Yeah. Uh, and tigers, I mean, <clears throat> shouldn't even be on. Do you know? Do you know? What... Well, I mean, I mean that, that that's true, but that's that's way bigger than us right now. Oh yeah, I mean uh, they just, I mean they just we, recently we, took we, wolves off the we, list. We can argue, we can argue that till we're blue in the face. Uh, but but the thing that we have to prove is, look, hey, Carol, Pat, Craig are all spay and neuter, and and I have in trial transcripts. A federal wildlife agent saying that you can't do that. Right. Okay. So why is the law being being selective enforced? Well, Joe, because Joe, it's, it's, it's all, they killed they killed a fucking about, tiger yesterday. Shit, but it's all about shutting us down. It has nothing to do with fucking tigers. No. Really. No. Uh, and Carol going public and saying she has to get out of here if I support the big cat safety yeah, action. It's a lie. Something. Yeah, yeah, that's a lie. She she wouldn't do that. You know that. Well, I, I know she wouldn't do that, but she made an ass of herself in, in, in world news right. uh, saying that she would. I just, mean, that alone tells you that I'm a political prisoner. Yeah, she's just she's just doing it for the publicity. But you know what? We got back, we got even for it the very next day is I, I released that thing of we got an anonymous letter saying that, that Don's body was under her house. And you know that that gift shop was her house, right? So yeah. At the same time, she ordered the septic system in the backfield for the septic system. She, um, she this guy claims that he that she put the body under the foundation. 
So we, we put that out on TMZ just to kind of counteract her, her, her position. Yeah. You know, she'll, she'll do anything she has to to get her name out in public, bisexual, it don't matter. Yeah. She's crazy. Yeah. They, they'll, 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 they'll never catch her. What, what, what we have to do, Jeff, is we got we got to have John get finished getting Linky and, and, and Alan's uh, information or whatever, and we got to ruin them in public, man. That's the only thing, because if they indict you all, and they do to you what they did to me, but you, you're screwed, dude. Yep. They, 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 they keep you from fighting your own case. Yep. Well, that's, you know, we, we've, we've felt this coming, and that's why we went on Dr. Oz and said what we said. Um, and, and apparently Matt Bryant is scared shitless because he's been calling Eric, um, Eric Good and asking Eric, what, what does Jeff have? And Eric says, I have no idea. Jeff hasn't shared it with me. So we've got, we got Matt Bryant running scared because Matt Bryant hated Eric Good. He thought he was just a, a, a manipulator and a, and a um, capitalist. Eric Good is a manipulator. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And, but the fact that, that now Matt Bryant is calling because they've told Matt Bryant not to talk to us. And Matt, wouldn't, he won't answer my text or call if we called him. But now he's going and asking Eric Good what we have on him. So if if he knew he was clean, right. why would he even be? Why would he even Try acknowledge Eric. acknowledge Eric Good's existence? You know, he's scared, and he should be. Um, Amanda Green should be scared. Oh yeah. You know, Amanda Green had your picture on the back of her door with a bullseye over your face for the last three for three I, years prior. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't doubt it. But, I have her dead right for obstruction of justice and suppressing evidence. Uh, and and, and I, I, before this is over with, I want to see that bitch tied in a chair just like I was. Yeah. <clears throat> Joe, I'll say this. You know, they've come to the table, not just with a little bit, but we've spent all morning going through transcripts. They've given me full access to five or six cell phones, multiple computers. Like, they're really... They're really stepping up. It's 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 powerful stuff. You know, Jeff. Let, let, me, let me just tell you and Lauren. Uh, you know, uh, three years of my life, I, I've been tied to chairs till the skin comes off my arm. I've been. I, I have hepatitis A now. I have tuberculosis now. Now I got prostate cancer. I lost my mom and dad. Uh, my marriage is pathetic. Uh, uh, you, you would have no clue what I've been through, man. And, you know, I, I sit here every night praying to God just for my heart to stop. And, and if, if, if I was just an evil person, I would love to see you and Lauren go through what I've been through the last three years. But we we got to we gotta put our differences aside, dude, or we're going to both die in here. Yeah. <clears throat> well, let's... But we obviously are. We enough is enough, and people that, especially in the government, that have turned their backs on people that have actually tried to do their best and care for these animals, and you know they've drug everyone's name through the mud. It's time to all of us step up together and take them down. Well, it's just time to show the corruption. You know, it, it, it is, it is, and and every person that they have ever prosecuted. I want their cases reopened for, for obstruction and, and perjury too. Well, you know, you, you got the longest animal charge of anybody in the history of the Federal Fish and Wildlife for, for any trafficking, for anything. Under, under the, the rules of the Endangered Species Act, they've given you more time than they've given anyone else. Hey, I, I'm in here with people that murdered their family, dude. Right. And, and, and I have more time than that. Right. Yeah, it's all ridiculous. It's and it's well, they're I all mean, conspiring together. Hey, yeah, they they knew. You know what they had over James is they had all of that credit card fraud, and I just explained to John and everybody how it works, right down to things you have even no clue how he explained. So, are you still there? Yeah. So so they they everybody John knows it all, and we've got it all now. Um, 
emails, everything. So let's let's see how quick we can get it. We can get it put down on paper, and I I, I think this is going to shake up the world. Man, it needs to. It really does. It really does. I, you know, Jeff, the the last civil conversation me and you had in the office, I told you not to let this just drain your life. I know. I'm ready to be out. I mean, them actually coming and getting the animals was actually a, a bit of a relief. And you know what I mean, because you, you live inside of a, I don't want to use this derogatory, but you live in a cage. Yeah, because you can't leave, you can't... Hey, when, when, when Travis died, that's what I was telling everybody. I, I, I stole five years of his life for yeah. that fucking zoo. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's, it's cool to have on your resume. But you can't sleep. Fuck you, you, that. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, you can't sleep because you don't know if somebody's letting tigers out or you know, fucking drunk guys leaving locks unlocked. It's just, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Well, I hope Eric Kelly has to spend a little time in jail for his DUI. You know what? We, we, pay, we sent him twice now for rehab, and he's just betrayed us, just betrayed our trust. He's... And and now that there's no animals for him to to, to have to care for, I, I agree with you. I think he needs he needs to be put someplace where he can't possibly he's gonna, access. He's gonna dry out. Yeah. Well, he borrowed one of our cars. He borrowed one of our cars to go cash a check at Kent's, and I told him, "Come right back here. Don't waste any time." We didn't know he was gone till the next morning, and we're looking for our goddamn car. And Love County hit, or not Love County, um, Carter so County. Carter Carney, he ran into somebody on the interstate and totaled our car, um, and it was sitting in a tow yard someplace, but, yeah. He's, but, we let him sit there. We didn't bail him out. But no more no more sh- shit talking back and forth online, all that, you know. Yeah, we just got to We got to work out. together. Hey, man, I'm done. I, I need some help getting the fuck out of here. I'm not going to live through this. Hey, but okay. well, we're here. We're doing everything we can do, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say it's all for you. It's also for self-preservation. But you know, I saw what they did to you, and I saw how they manipulated people. So I'm not gonna let that happen to me. If I can help it. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, they're dirty, man. They're dirty. Well, Joe, they we are. haven't done anything. You, you know damn well my heart and animals. You know that I. I there would not be a, a hair on an animal that I wouldn't have have allowed to be, you know. How, how did, how did, how did they, uh, to this day, I still don't see how they pulled off, convicted me of forms that Dr. Green and Rinky pulled out. You know, we have no idea how that how that happened. I'm, we are very shocked they didn't bring uh, Rinky into it, that that they didn't bring Dr. Green yeah. into it. None of that makes any sense. I, 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 was, at, I was at fucking Doc Antils when he filled that shit out. How did they not even talk to Rinky? Rinky How did refused. They not bring him to the stand? Because I, I swear to God that Amanda Green and Agent Bryant and my two public defenders had this all worked out. Because Amanda Green got a promotion, the two public defenders mm-hmm. probably got ten bonds out of the deal, and Agent Green, uh, Agent Bryant got his his color and whatever the hell Carol paid him. Right. Right. And you remember? You remember that? They will never pull this off on another trial. If I if I if I don't get out of here on a pardon or by this evidence that you all have, if I get another trial, they'll never pull this off again. I don't think there can be another trial because they'll be so corrupt. Double jeopardy. Yeah. Double jeopardy. Well, Why would that protect him or not? I mean, it, not necessarily, but the the fact that Bryant can't testify. The fact. I mean, right. you're you're bringing down. Right. You're taking all their star witnesses because I can tell you that Ashley Webster. You remember that bitch that was there for four days. Yeah. She started yeah. all she started all this. I, well, we did it we did a deposition with her a a, 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 a viral I mean a video one. Yeah. And she she lied to the judge about, about not being able to travel and they found out that she went to Arkansas. Well what you so that's why she can that's why she can testify. But she called Carol's cell phone from the park. And you know what else you you might may or may not know? That they that they told us to cover up? Is you know that she was fucking Alan Glover? Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. And and when and when Matt to find out that I was shocked to find out my mother-in-law was. 
Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> I'm then, not shocked by and that. Then, and then Matt, Matt told us when we told him, when we told him that Ashley was having sex with Glover, he told us, he sent Lauren a text, do not send this information by text, call me. And then when we finally talked to him, he was like, you, you can't share that kind of information with us because Joe's attorneys can get to it. So they didn't want Ashley Webster to look like a, a sleazeball slut that she was and, and, and impugn her credibility. So the person that set you up was fucking the guy that took you down in a way. It's just, it's unreal. Yep. But that's that's one of the things we have an upper hand in. I, I can I did I can I can take this conspiracy from day one. I have screenshots of Carol offering to pay for public comment, everything. Yeah. Uh, but they keep me they keep me shut up in here too. And and so let me tell you, Jeff, you're gonna if, if we don't get this out quick, they're gonna do the same thing to you and Lauren. When they when they <coughs> if they indict you and arrest you they're going to keep you where you cannot fight your own case. Yep. They, they, blocked, they blocked my phone from calling anybody. Mm. And, and, and then every chance they get, they slap you in suicide watch so that way you have no way to get hold of nobody. Right. Yep, it's a crock of shit. Yeah, you you wouldn't believe how many innocent people are in this place. Every everybody in here is serving minimum ten year sentences for a conspiracy just talking on a cell phone about drugs. Don't even have drugs. Right. That conspiracy law is is the worst one that was ever passed. Well, it's time that we turn it around and use it on them. Well, I'm I'm ready to take them down. John's, John's computer guy's down there trying to to get all of the stuff we have, and it's quite a bit. We we videotaped or, or audio re- recorded almost everything every every day. Joe, how the fuck just how the fuck they came to me with that suspension? You know what they were writing me up? You remember Promises Cage? Back in the back, there was like a there was a gap. The part that was under the roof, there was a metal strip that ran along the ground that had like a two-inch gap between that metal strip and the and the chain link fence. They came in there and wrote me up for that, and Promise was in there really sick for that last month of December, and so I couldn't get in there and change anything. I could have gone in because Promise was that was that out of it, but I wouldn't allow anybody else to go in there and change it. So they came back and they wrote me up as a repeat offense, and Debbie Cunningham says... Because they brought Debbie back. Debbie says, I wrote Joe. Yeah, she goes, I wrote Joe up for that 10 years ago. And I said, well, then why didn't you, on the follow-up inspection, why the hell didn't you cite him for it? I said, so now you're coming here and you're citing me, giving me a repeat violation. So they gave me a 21-day suspension in August. And we were going to leave. The judge had given your your zoo to Carol. So we were going to leave anyway. I said, you know what, if you're going to suspend me for 21 days... I'll just forfeit my license right here, right here and then, and we'll be done because i got to move animals out in 30 days. So I forfeited my license in front of the park, signed it. They printed it out. They signed it. It says I had to stop exhibiting. I, I agreed to it, signed it, and then they were going to get in their car and leave. And I said, now, here's what I want you to do. I'm going to shock you. And she says, what? I said, now go in there to prove that I'm not hiding anything. Go in there and inspect me one last time. So they went in and they inspected but didn't take any notes, didn't, and they lied that they, that they were allowed in there to inspect. Well, we have that whole inspection recorded, and everything was perfect, okay? <clears throat> so now a federal judge has given them the ability to inspect a non-licensed entity. How the hell is that not a, a violation of your constitutional rights? Nobody else with animals in Oklahoma is inspected that doesn't have a USDA license. So okay, now were, were you all were you all back at the park on December the seventeenth of two thousand seventeen? Oh, when, when when me and 
Dylan got married. Were y'all no. back like the next week over the weekend when we got inspected? No. I could have sworn that I could have sworn that you all were sitting there going through your inspection book with Johnny Boone. It's possible, Joe. I don't remember. I have a, the, the feds made us account for every day we were gone and every day we were there, so I've got that written down, but I, I can't remember. When did remember. you and Dylan get married? October, right? We got, yeah. married, we got married on the 11th, and we got inspected on the 17th. Uh, but, but what month? December. December. Uh, December. Uh, no, we were not. We were still in Las Vegas because I remember I remember still being in Vegas then. Yeah, because we were, we were very confused. Okay. As to why you got married so okay. fast. Then, I, then, then it had to be. Then it had to be Winky was there. But anyway, Debbie Cunningham. Okay, she she was part of this. All right. When when she inspected me on December the seventeenth, I was sitting in the in the folding chair in front of Winky's desk. Yep. And she she brings me a pile of of in, uh, transfer forms and says, "Do me a favor and write donation across all these, so there's no question." Okay. So I did, all right? Then she never came back. That was the last time she ever inspected me. Okay, she never came back. We couldn't find her to subpoena her, and those are the only transfer forms they charged me with. Uh, okay, well, uh, uh, well, first of all, we never sold the label. We always bought them. Right. Right. Okay, it's something that didn't make sense lemur, at all. The only lemur that came from anywhere went to James, and that was from John, what's his face, down there in Texas. John. Okay. But, but the, the transfer forms that they charged me with was made out of my name. And and I had nothing to do with that language. They delivered it. They delivered it to James's house, and he paid them. But it shouldn't. But... And, they put that, and they put that fucking paperwork in my name. Huh. Because it was a USDA <coughs> form, and we don't use those. Right. I bet. I bet there's so much that we don't know that has been done. That and until you, until you get some lawsuit out there that will produce this discovery, we, we don't know but, how crooked. So when you when you're working with people like James that made shit up in order to, to fucking uh, stay out of jail, uh, how how do you know what they really have and what they don't have? Right. <clears throat> Right. Well, the good thing I mean, is, is like that's just like my USDA book was sitting in the courtroom, and my vet protocol was sitting in the courtroom, and it said gunshot to euthanize. Right. Why? 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 Why didn't my lawyers pull that out? You know, the text messages on the pizza phone. Yeah. They were. They were in the. They were in the courtroom. Amanda Green just sat there and let Alan lie. Well, I'm going to tell you what, <clears throat> they fucking let James Gerritsen sit there and lie. I read the court transcript when they're talking about his care credit and all that shit, and he thought he, Matt Bryant knew exactly every detail about about Gerritsen creating all those Chinamen's names and all those fake accounts. Every, every time when I testified, I tried to say something about credit cards or fraud, buying, paying for tea, uh, and, and even Kyle... One of my lawyers asked James about buying employees' teeth with, with credit cards. The judge shut us down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't even get to explain any of that to the, to the jury. Because Amanda Green and the judge shut us down every time. Hey, during that trial, did, did they use Ashley Webster's video or not? No, no. Uh -uh. Couldn't because she lied. Hmm. And you guys, <coughs> did you know or did you not know that she was screwing, screwing uh, Alan? I did. I had no idea. None. We know now. I wonder if he'll admit to that. He knows now, and he knows that we were told not to share it with you, along with other stuff. So. So, so what's what's the plan, John? What are, what are we gonna do? We're gonna wait and get Rinky and see if you can get Alan on videotape. Or yeah, yeah, Alan. We're gonna try to call Alan today. He's got a new phone, and okay. and then James apparently has said that that he'll talk to me. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Jeff sitting right here quietly during those calls in case he you know wants to say you know lie or truth or whatever. Um, Motherfucker can't tell the truth to say. Right, I know. But it's, I mean, right now, 
Jeff and Lauren are going through transcripts and kind of telling us where the lies are. So uh, I want, I don't want to scare them off immediately. I kind of want to lure them in. Hey, 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 how did, how did anybody find out who, how did, how to obtain a fake ID? What do you mean? How did anybody, how did, how did anybody, who, who's, who was the source for the fake ID? James. There you go. Yeah. So you think John Finley or Alan Glover would have known where to get a fake ID had it not been for... Hell no, hell no. Uh, and, and, and James testified that the only reason I knew was because of his strip clubs. He didn't have any strip clubs when I knew him. Right. Right. So, so... Uh, Amanda, Green, Amanda Green knew exactly what to ask because she knew all the answers. Yeah. Well, because they had rehearsed. Well, in the grand jury testimony, Matt Bryant, Matt Bryant indicated uh, he was talking all about this fake ID, and yet never said that it was his confidential informant who set up the the person to create the fake ID across state lines. Across state lines. Yeah. God. Well, if, if you read both uh, grand jury transcripts. The first grand jury transcript, Matt Bryant said that I got three thousand dollars from uh, Robert Engister and paid Alan to go kill Carol. Okay, then between that one and the next one, nine days later, the FBI in, they investigated and they went and talked to Robert and they proved that Robert couldn't have been there because he was broke down in Indiana at a at a car dealership. The okay the the. And then Matt Bryant was told by the FBI that Robert Clinton had gave me that money. Okay, so what what does he do? He goes back to the grand jury to reindict me with all the animal charges and keeps that bit of information from the grand jury so that way he didn't have to say he was wrong the first time. So he misled the grand jury the second time to reindict me. Uh, with false information, and he knew it was false. Well, I, I already pointed out to to the attorneys here this morning, reading through Matt Bryant's grand jury testimony, he he misled the grand jury on what the USDA's purpose was. They don't regulate endangered species. They they only regulate exhibitors. He made it appear as though we were all operating without the proper licenses. licenses. Yeah, without proper permits. Right, and you don't you don't have to be USDA to own a cat. We have federal licenses. Who the fuck do you know? Right. Right. Both both agencies are under the Department of Interior. Yep. And and some somebody needs to pull Deb Holland, the new Secretary of Interior, to the rug and say, Look, you you got laws over here and you got laws over here and nobody can decide who the hell that who who the hell enforces what. But, right. but you're putting people in prison and you're taking their shit away from them? Joe, the Department of of justice came and seized not just this recent seizure but a few weeks ago they took they came and they specifically took hybrids ligers right. and yeah. Yeah. okay okay but, but you know why they're doing that it's not because it's illegal okay it's because PETA got a stupid judge in Indiana to go against uh, uh, Kim so they're using that as a precedent okay what needs to happen is Congress needs to get involved, and that's what I'm hoping that with, with the evidence that you have, with the recordings and everything else, that John can stir a big enough public mess that Congress will get involved. Well, we need an we need an endangered species attorney to to go and, and give you know, an opinion. All we need, all we need, is is John to 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 question the Secretary of Interior. That's her fucking job. Right. Well, and and that woman we had on the phone doesn't do him any good, or doesn't do him any help, because we recorded that right. phone call. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely not. Yeah, you know, and and then and then you've got dumbass uh, that other federal agent that testified at my trial. Uh, yeah, you can't. You, a vet can't even euthanize a, a, an endangered species in a zoo. Well, fuck you. Close every goddamn zoo down because they're doing it. All right. Mm -hmm. Every day. Every day. Every day. Well, Carol, Carol was doing it, and Carol's they shot, not... They shot, a fucking, they shot a fucking gorilla in, in the Columbus Zoo. Right. 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 And you remember Carol's sex change, Tiger? 
No, exactly, and killed it. And killed it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, you want to you want to say, uh, see, if you read Carol's testimony, when she testified, okay, when 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 a joke puts a tiger down, it's against the law, okay? When Carol puts one down, it falls under the husbandry practices of the USDA. Right, right. Did you hear Jeff say that they they killed a tiger or something when they were... Yeah, extracting on Monday. They wouldn't let us out. They wouldn't yeah. let us out of the house, but we could see. All of a sudden, everybody was gathered at the back of a trailer for like a half hour, and somebody was trying to do um, chest, compression. chest compressions on a cat. I don't even know what cat it was. So then Lauren's been recording it. They started poking it with a stick. They tried picking up the cage and shaking it, and then a few hours. I mean, an hour later, they're all still stand there. Walked away. Just closed up the trailer door, but they deny they killed one. All right. Well. You know, if if if, it, if we could ever get this all out in public, it's very simple, Jeff, to just explain. And, and you know, that, that's what John needs to explain, uh, you know, all this in a national press conference. But if tigers are endangered, whether they're purebred or generic, for the last 25 years, why haven't we had to inventory them, uh, show where the bodies are? Uh, right. to keep the parts from the black market. Uh, why haven't we had to really test anything? Uh, because they're not. They're just not. Right. And But if you go to Dollywood, where Dolly's got 100 bald eagles, they're all tagged. So that shows that every endangered species that's in captivity. To, right. <coughs> Man, it's why don't we have to computer check them? Right. Yeah. Right. Because they're not endangered. No. Well, I, I know you're familiar with Ted Cruz, the Saves Act, is why why are American tax dollars going to protect a non-native species, you know, which... Correct, correct. But, but unfortunately, PETA and, and the Humane Society and Carol and everybody else has more money donated uh, in, in the House's pockets right. than Ted Cruz does. Right. He'll never get that law passed. He'll no. never get it passed. No. You know what, though? I don't think Big Cat Safety Act will pass either. It's only got a 12% prognosis right now, which isn't... Man, I'm hoping. Yeah. I'm hoping. Yeah. You know, if that, uh, just like I told the press, if that bitch wants me to testify in front of the Senate to pass a bill, she's going out of business, trust me. Yeah. So, so is the ACA, because we're going to get rid of every fucking tiger in this country. Yep, and then and then the the U.S. Fish and Wildlife give them CITES permits to import them from other countries. <clears throat> yeah, the Argentina two white tigers. Yeah, Why? So they can say that the tigers are inbred. Right, right. Or Peruvian circus tigers. Why do they need to come to America to find a home? They they don't because they're out of tigers to rescue. Jeff, you know that. Yep. Well, not now. Pat Craig is just taking credit for rescuing all of the Tiger King tigers. And and yeah. and now he'll he'll and will raise and mm -hmm. will raise millions. Yep, and he'll charge fifty two dollars a head to see the Tiger King Tigers. Yep, but you know, in the end, I, I come to the conclusion uh, a year and a half ago. Uh, you know, we can sit and we can bitch and we can moan and we can groan all we want. Uh, what what we got to do, Jeff, is the, okay. The the animal business is corrupt. We gave it our best. Uh, we enjoyed it while we had it. Now we got to expose the corruption so we can both have a life and walk away from the fucking animal industry. Yep. It, 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 I never want. I never want to, to, to deal with any of these two-faced motherfuckers ever again in my life. Right. I, I just, I'm on the same boat with you. <clears throat> it's just not worth it. It's not worth the, the you know, the, the hey, stress. Hey, hey. I'm, how many hundreds of thousands of dollars have you have you spent in the last three years? I, I spent over a million dollars in cash last on that on that new zoo and and now it's gone. It's just nothing. <coughs> and, and, and and that was their goal. That's their goal. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. Fuck that. Hey John. Yeah. I just got my lab reports back probably ten minutes before I called y'all and my uh, counts dropped over 700 counts in a week and a half. That's in a good way? No. No, the blood cell. Oh. Uh, so I will put these in the mail. Yeah, get them to me.
I was thinking PSA and, and percentage, but yeah. No, yeah, yeah. no. Yeah, my hemoglobins and everything is bottoming out. So be strong and send me what you got. It, it, this, this whole system is fucked up. It, you know, uh, the, the lady guard had two tiny little kids and she shot and killed herself because they caught her bringing drugs in here. And then, and then, uh, there's at least a, a dead inmate a week leave here. It's crazy. It's fucking crazy. We, we have nothing. No, 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 you don't, you don't mean shit to anybody. If, you, if you're, if you I'll tell you, to go to sleep knowing that you're one of the most famous men in the world right now. Oh, well, yeah, but what does it do me? Right. You know, if right. I'm going to die in prison. Right. I don't, I don't know what else to say, guys, other than right now, uh, we, we need each other. And, yeah. Um, I saved your ass one time. I'll try to save it again. This is, uh. My my time clock is clicking. It's it's ticking. Uh, I I go to the oncologist on the twenty seventh, and then I go to the urologist on the first, and uh, they will only approve my blood every two months instead of every four weeks, like the Mayo Clinic had me going. Yeah, the interferon. I weigh I weigh I weigh one hundred and fifty four pounds. Huh. Now, are you in isolation or are you in general population? I'm in general population now. Is that better than isolation? No, isol isolation, you, you just want to kill yourself. Oh. And, and, and that's what I'm trying to get across to you. If they arrest you, they're going to put you in isolation for two reasons. One is because you're high profile, and two is because they don't want you building your own case. All right. Okay, and and isolation is a six by twelve foot room with nothing. Okay, absolutely nothing. And you get out one hour every three days to shower. Wow. And I spent a year and a half in there. Yeah. They give you they give you one one phone call a month. It's outrageous. Yep. Yeah. I have. I have. Uh, I, I'm in a in a unit, you know. You know, I'm in a hospital uh, right. place, so it, there's no jail cells. Okay, it's just it's like a college dorm. There's no doors to your room, uh, and and I have a single separate room. Uh, thank God, but I'm in here with there's probably close to 300 people in my unit. And I'm in here with people that cut their fucking people up with chainsaws and shit and fed them to pigs. And, and, you know, I have more respect out of these people than I do any fucking employee I ever hired. Oh, I'm, yeah. <clears throat> yep, the employee problems never ended after you left, don't you? Well, it's, it, 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 because they don't care. It's not their money. You know, here, here I am in prison and here you all are on your way. And they can move on. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's just like I said in that one post. Eric Cowie should be facing animal cruelty because he's the motherfucker that got paid to take it up. Right. Right. You know, well, we all worked our ass off to, so we had money to pay the motherfuckers to do a job that they didn't want to do. Right. And then Baby said grown men. Now, now, <coughs> yeah, now we're paying the price. Yep. But, you know, there, there, there's, that I can't, I can't, I can say this is a whole lot worse, uh, but, you know, there's a group of, group of guys that make sure that I eat and make sure that I drink and come check on me all day long. Right. It could be worse. Well, we've, we've, we stepped up to help, so let's see what happens. It's going to take a very strong national press conference. I know a guy. <laughs> We're working on it, Joe. I, I, I think we can pull it off. But anyway, i got to get up here. Um, All right. Thanks, thanks for stepping up. Take my advice, man. It's not worth it. I know. <clears throat> I know what you're saying, Joe. All right. 
It's a system you can't you can't beat unless you can expose corruption in it. Right, right, right. And and it's time we expose it. Um, I I I think Agent Bryant and Amanda Green should not only be indicted, but they should lose their jobs. Well, oh, she'll, she'll definitely be stripped of her judge position. And you know the fact, just the fact that Matt Bryant is calling Eric good, that speaks volumes. It really does volumes because he was one of those very professional acting. Don't I don't want to interview it. I don't want to be on Tiger King. I don't want. He did not have any respect for Eric Good until he until his communications with me was uh-huh. cut off by the government. And now he saw me on Doctor Oz or wherever he saw, and he's scared shitless right now. Yeah. All righty. All right, buddy. I'm gonna trust you. All right. All right, man. Be safe. Take, my life. Take care of yourselves. All right, thanks. All right, man. Bye. All right.